So one thing I love to see is when families do things together, when families hang out and have similar interests. And one thing that unites the Trump family seemingly is losing cases in court. Because just last night, Ivanka took a huge loss in a DC court. And so did Trump and the wider Trump family and indeed the Trump organization itself. And this has everything to do with Donald Trump's first inauguration all the way back in 2016, 2017. They've been trying to throw out a case against Trump and the Trump family and the Trump company, but a judge smacked them down last night saying, no, there's more than enough evidence for a trial to go forward. What a big loss for Ivanka in particular. And I'll explain why it says the lawsuit filed by District of Columbia Attorney General Carl was seen in January 2020 alleges that the Trump International Hotel in Washington illegally received more than $1 million by charging the presidential inaugural committee inflated prices to use ballrooms and other event spaces, violating laws governing nonprofit organizations. And Judge Lopez allowed another allegation that the nonprofit committee had misused assets for the Trump family's private gain to move forward. Nonprofits are not allowed to use funds for the private benefit of their leaders. Racine's lawsuit alleges in particular that Ivanka Trump, a White House advisor at the time and former senior executive at the Trump organization, was involved in discussions about the rentals and was warned at least twice that the hotel's prices could lead to charges of self-dealing against her father. And so we talked yesterday about how Ivanka is trying to hide away from Daddy Donald and hide away from her brothers and hide away from her family because she doesn't want to be dragged in to these legal conflicts, but it's already too late. The crimes and the scandals and the grifting has already been done. And so you can't put it all back in the box. The box is already overflowing. And what this alleges is that Ivanka all the way back in 2016, 2017, basically says that her, as well as Donald Trump Jr. knew that all of these things were happening and they lied under oath. We've talked about that months ago, that they lied under oath saying they had nothing to do with the day to day decisions or the big picture decisions of the Trump inauguration. And so they're not guilty of any allegations of using the inauguration to make themselves in the Trump corporation and their dad richer. And this says otherwise, and Ivanka's desperate effort to throw it out of court has utterly failed. And so this really is such an epitomization of the Trump family that on their first days in power, really before Donald Trump even became president, they were already grifting. They were already taking from the American people. They were already using nonprofit statuses and things like that to try and inflate the value and inflate the margins and inflate the profit lines of the DC Trump hotel. And we know that was truly desperate because since then we've been finding out that the Trump DC hotel is massively, massively, massively in debt and no one wants to stay there. And so it was Ivanka and Don Jr., maybe Donald himself, all gathering together to use the inauguration committee to enrich Donald Trump and put bums in the seats of his hotel, even though there were other hotels that were just as good and cheaper, which means that they violated the law. Ivanka tried to get rid of this. They've been trying to bury this trial for years and years and years now, but it's finally going to hit them. And for both civil penalties, as well as potential criminal penalties, when especially when it comes to contempt and obstruction of justice and lying under oath, she is in big trouble. And if she thought her time in the bad spotlight was fully over, she's got another thing coming because this might just be the beginning.